Now for all my techies and gamers out there, I have recently crossed the threshold of 500 subscribers, hard earned, hard work, 500 subscribers. And I want to give you a big thanks, shout out to all you guys out there who have subscribed to Tech Toys and Gaming. And with that, I would like to say that in this video, I'm announcing a giveaway. That's right, giveaway for all of my subscribers. If you are subscribed, you're in for a treat because in this video, talking about liquid cooling, I am giving away this liquid cooler if you are in the market for liquid cooling by Cooler Master. That's right. It is actually the larger size liquid cooler. The ML280 Mirror Master Liquid Cooler with third gen dual pump, infinite RGB setup. That's right, infinite lighting. You can set it up with just about any software, RGB software that's out there on the market with most popular software applications for most motherboards. Techies and gamers, your chances for winning this cooler are very high because I don't have that many subscribers. So that makes it that much more of a bigger chance for you to win this liquid cooler right here in your face. Also know that YouTube is not affiliated in any way with this giveaway. Neither is Cooler Master. This is all with my hard earned bucks and cash, right? So please absolve them of any responsibility. This is all me. And if you are looking to find out what the exact instructions are for getting involved in this giveaway, check the link in the description. I have left all the instructions you need so that way you can enter properly and earn yourself a chance to win a nice little cooler and upgrade your cheap little fan cooler like I did. What up Techies and Gamers, it's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. And in today's video, I wanna talk about fan cooling versus liquid cooling. Cooling your processor, your CPU in your gaming or even editing rig. And I want to talk about this specifically because I was encountering a nice little sweet and tasty heating problem I was having, a cooling problem, I had this CPU cooler, which was a fan cooler. And um, when I was gaming, my temperatures were just rising way too high. So what I wanted to do was compare that specific fan cooler with a liquid cooler of the same price range, right? Not only of the same price range, but also from the same manufacturer. And they both are from Cooler Master, that's right. One being a fan cooler, it is the G100M fan cooler. Nice little RGB flying saucer. When I first purchased it, it seemed very promising. I purchased it because, well, it was just very nice. Nice little RGB aesthetic to it. Looked nice, cylindrical, and it was low profile because I initially got it to install into an ITX PC. And I will tell you right from the start, I was experiencing thermal issues with the different types of upgrades. Ran it on Ryzen 5 3600, Ryzen 7 5800X, and the temperatures essentially on all of them were above 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. Scorching hot. I even moved it from an ITX case to a mid tower to full tower case and still. And even on idle, I was getting about 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. Sometimes I would dip into the 50s, but mostly running negligible task on my computer, browsing, running a video, it, the, the CPU temperatures would just spike. So I thought, hmm, how could a decently priced, decently manufactured, decently made with all of the promising innuendos that it has with this cooler have this cooling problem? Was it Ryzen that's the problem that gets too hot that it couldn't handle Ryzen? Outside of upgrading it for thermal purposes, I also wanted to upgrade it because it was just too loud. It was like a buzzing noise with this fan and it was a complete turn off. So what I wanted to do was get something comparable in terms of price range, fan versus liquid. So I went ahead and purchased the Master Liquid ML240L V2 RGB liquid cooler. That's right. Now, this is not a super high end cooler, but neither is it cheap either. So running with the fan cooler, you can see from this little sample I gathered from my gameplay 
that my CPU was scalding hot at 90 to 91 degrees Celsius consistently. Now that is just too hot. You should not have your processor running like that for long periods of time at 91 degrees Celsius. And with running at those temperatures, I suffered with frame rates. Yep, my frame rates weren't as good as they could have been because there was some throttling, especially with some of these games being CPU bound somewhat, not so much, but either way, with the processor running that hot consistently, eventually you're gonna suffer in frames. I tested with Asterogos, not too much of a big graphically intense game, but it is significantly graphically intense and running it at full epic high quality at 144 frames per second, it was dipping. So Tech Easy Gamers, what do you think happened when I went ahead and moved into this new liquid cooler? Sometimes in some reviews you see that the fan coolers work better, sometimes you see that the liquid cooler works better. In this case, the liquid cooler has literally blown, fan blown, get it, what? Has literally blown the competition out of the water. It has made this fan cooler look disgusting. I was actually shocked with the results and it is night and day running liquid cooler by Master Cooler, right? I'm not even comparing them to another company, to any other device that is even cheaper than what you get at this price point. You will see that with the results you are looking at here, Tech Easy Gamers, on my screen, that this liquid cooler has dropped my temperatures dramatically, running at epic quality, high quality settings, at the highest FPS I can run it, at least with my monitor. My monitor does 144 FPS. So taking a look here, you will see running anywhere from between 30 minutes to an hour, I am getting 65 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, sometimes 71 degrees Celsius max. I'm at a loss for words. It's night and day, and I am really glad that I made the switch because running any of these games on my PC, you will see that the performance is fantastic. The cooling is fantastic. Running at idle, I was getting about 35 degrees Celsius to 40, which should be around the normal range if you have a relatively decent cooling system. So if you are on the fence about upgrading from your fan cooling setup, your fan cooling system on your processor, on your CPU, in your computer, then Hopefully this will give you some insight as to whether or not you should upgrade to liquid cooling. I would even go as far to say that I could have bought an even cheaper cooler by another less known name brand manufacturer and still gotten great results over this known manufacturer uh, CPU fan cooler by Cooler Master. Yes, liquid cooling is, it's made me a believer. I don't know about you guys out there, but I don't know if I would be willing to go to a fan cooler again, unless I get some ultra super sized large fan cooler that's the size of my car engine. What?